Hey geeks, welcome to New Code World. I've talked about this before on my show and I've mentioned it on New Code Worlds before, but this week I want to do a deep dive into this. Security rules placed on software engineer environments has gotten out of hand. Out of hand might not even be the right term because I think it's completely out of control at this point. Not only has this happened the last few contracts I've worked at, but I hear this from other people too. So not only is this not acceptable and is getting way of our job, it makes you know, working very frustrating and even demoralizing to a point, but this is where I see us heading. Actually, I don't think we're heading this way. I think we're here. And uh, so I wanna talk about this. I wanna bring it up, I hope I hope you like this new code rules. I hope you show it to your managers or secretly show it to your managers or maybe the next time there's a company meeting, sneak this video in. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Here are just some of the things that I've had to deal with at my last couple of places I've had to work at that makes it horribly frustrating uh, for me to get my work done. With all the other things that makes work frustrating, uh, this is making it worse for, to me, not a lot of reason. You know, I worked on a contract where they literally uh, banned copying text out of Outlook. <laughs> I can't believe it. So if someone sends me a text, you know, like a like a password or something like that, I can't even copy it out of Outlook. Somehow they've been able to block that for some reason. Email blocks data and files. We cannot send files to each other at all. Nothing. I've I tried for half a day one day recently and I could not get it to work. I've tried everything I could. They block out, they block OneDrive, they block even doing this on GitHub. Most apps I use won't work unless I start them as admin. And so I'm having to train myself to remember, oh, I have to start this as admin. I have to start this as admin. I have to start this as admin. Yes, there are some places where I can set that up, but other places like for shortcuts, I can't do that. So it's so, you know, I try to get something done. I get a bunch of errors in the program. I go, oh, I didn't start as admin. Now I have to get out, start as admin, come back in. Uh, it's a nightmare trying to share files, especially outside the domain. Yeah, I kind of talked about that with the uh, emails. I can't even copy files in and out of uh, remote desktop because they've blocked that too. A lot of the meetings they have are recorded. Uh, but at one contract, it's almost impossible to even share those recordings because of all the security rules. Uh, maybe there's a way to do it, but no one seems to know how to do it out of 17 people in my in my team. And of course, we can only you know access anything at the company through a VPN, which makes it difficult um, in some cases to get things done. Yeah, I've never run in, into this before. The company blocks Google along with other sites like Stack Overflow. And what I mean by block Google is like, if I go to Google to search for something, it doesn't, I can't do it. I have to use Bing, which is not a bad thing, but I'm kind of used to using Google and I can't do it at this, com at, at, at the, at this contract. Remote desktops just stops working and requires a reboot. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because of the VPN they make me use. Multiple times throughout the day, remote desktop just stop work, stops working. Sometimes I come back to my, uh, my laptop and remote desktop is gone. The entire thing is gone. I don't know what happened to it and I have to reboot to get everything back. Uh, when they gave me my Windows virtual machine and my Linux virtual machine, they gave me a password to it, but you know, they won't let me change the password to something I can actually remember. You know, I've been working at one contract for five weeks and I still have not memorized the, the, uh, the weird key combination of password they gave me to get them in, into my Windows box. I can't even install Visual Studio extensions. What the hell? Yeah. What the hell? I can't install Visual Studio extensions, won't work. If I install a Visual Studio extension that has an ins you know, a normal install like code refs from DevExpress, that works. But if I go through the extension manager in Visual Studio, I can't install anything. Two-form authentication via Duo just stops working, not sending out messages, and I have to reboot to get it working again. I don't know what's going on with Duo. I've never used it before. It just stops working for some reason. I don't know why. So these are just some of the things, just some of the things that frustrates me in the last year or so, the companies I've worked at. So when I put it out to the Twitterverse asking what, you know, do you have issues like this? 
and uh, what are those issues. And so next I'm going to go over uh, some of the replies I got uh, from people that follow me on Twitter. EDR security software that blocks your builds and flags new ex EXEs as suspect. Oh gosh, that must be really uh, frustrating when you compile your programs. Slow VPN, oh yes, deal with this too. The VPN, uh, besides Visual Studio being slow on a virtual machine, you know, the VPN <laughs> speed isn't helping things either. Using old auth me mechanisms for CI CD pipelines, very frustrating. Uh, dev serve the dev servers are slow or in maintenance. Yep, bad auth integration. Can't install software of any kind. No IDE, no debuggers, monitor tools, Rust clients. Nothing. This person can't install anything. This actually reminds me of my last contract where that's exactly what the developers dealt with. They could not install anything at all. It had to be requested, had the ticket put in, wait days, maybe even weeks to get that installed. And, you know, when you're trying to solve something right now, that really doesn't work. We're not teenagers, you know, we're adults. So we're, we certainly aren't being treated as adults, that's for sure. I wondered how many other software engineers, I know what people tell me directly, but I wondered in the Twitterverse how many other people are uh, having issues with this and you can see the numbers are not good at all over 50 percent are experiencing anywhere from 6 to 20 per 20 percent or more of productivity loss because of these rules being placed on software engineers and you know i just wonder if managers you know know this or management knows this or the company knows this just think of all the money being wasted uh, because of these rules. So call to action. You know, I understand in today's world, there's a lot of security that needs to happen. I understand that. You know, my information has been stolen, like when Equifax was uh, broken into and millions of people's of uh, personal information was stolen. I understand that. But there has to be some kind of happy medium somewhere. So, you know, management, DevOps people, and engineers must solve this together. And I and I put all three there because I, I, I'm feeling that engineers are completely left out of the loop and other people are making these rules without even talking to us or even really thinking how this really impacts our life. And this solution must focus on productivity because productivity is where we can add features to the application and that's how the company makes money. And of course, security, that has to be part of this. That's why this is happening at all, right? You know, back when I started software engineering, we, did, we didn't have this amount of security. I mean, it was so much easier back then. And now it's, it, it's like you have to be a full-time security person. And I'm not talking about a full-time security person on the application itself. It, the the full-time security person just dealing with these rules that are placed on us. So that's new code rules for this week. Please let me know how you feel about this subject. Uh, are things being, uh, are you experiencing this at your job? Uh, let me know. If uh, you have experienced this at your job and you found a way to make it better, please let me know. I will share it with the world if you let me know that. Please email me at rockinthecodeworld at csharpcorner.com and I hope you'll watch the past episodes of New Code Rules by going to that URL right there. And with that, I'll see you next time on New Code Rules.